Now we're back to learning mid journey. A new feature just dropped. It's called mood boards. You can use that to personalize your image creations. So under personalization, when you set it to on, there's now drop down. I've just created one, tried it out, I read about in the documentation. It's only a step forward yet again. Let me, for example, prompt dog. If you just prompt it like this, you shouldn't get a comic style, but I've set a mood board of mine for a comic that I'm working on. Therefore, it should give me this now, even though I didn't prompt that the dog should be comic style and have this dark bluish color palette. And here you go. This is the result. Certainly helpful because up until now, personalization was just one style and now you can split your styles depending on the projects that you're working on. So for example, a mood board for your comics and then your, I don't know, whatever you do with it. Let's say your typical model profile photography stuff in a different mood board. You can set that up under personalize. Just turn the personalization on. You can create your standard profile and right next to it, you can create a mood board. You can also adjust the ones that you've already got. So this is your global one where you rate it images. Here's the one that I've created for my comic. You can view the creations, which are the images that you ran with this specific mood board. You can copy the code, which is the personalized code then for the parameter and you can delete them. So you can get rid of mood boards that you don't need anymore. I just create a new one. By default, there's no mood board too, because I already have one created. You can upload images for it, add them from links or add them from a gallery. Let us just use the gallery and we'll create a new one just quickly for this tutorial. I'm going to use these furry alien creatures. You just select them. And then there's nothing else to do. You can just go back. And now you have your mood board set up with these images. Back one step more, here's mood board two. I can rename that, let me call that tutorial example. Obviously the more images you add, the better mid journey has an idea of what you need. But you can still left click on it and then add more, upload, link or gallery. And you can set it as a default. I don't wanna have that here. Let me set it as a default. This will be used every time you set the personalization to on directly. I want to use this drop down here, select the tutorial example, make it dog again and run it. And this will now give me a dog with this style, this furry alien like style without me having to specifically prompt that anymore. Let's check the documentation. I'm going to link to it as always in the video description and here you can now find explanation about it. So the global profile that I was talking about, this should be already set up for you if you've rated images before, and then you can set these mood board profiles like I've just shown you. It's also explained how that's done. So if my explanation wasn't sufficient, read through the documentation. Link is in the description below. Let's get back. Here's the dog. And you can see it's in a style. Not perfectly though, but we definitely don't get the typical dog images where you get a realistic dog when you don't prompt it in detail. Let's do it again. And this time I crank up the stylization. But I believe I've selected the profile now, the global one. I don't want that. I want the tutorial example. Stylization is cranked up. I make it dog again. I run it. Because you can adjust via the stylization how much of your mood board is going to be applied to your image generation. Let's get back to the documentation and down here you can see it. So the stylus parameter is now a control parameter for this personalization. When you go low, it's going to ignore most of it. Or when you go higher, it's going to stick to your mood board. Seems like Midjourney hasn't swallowed my commands here. Let me try again. So I use dog, set the stylization to 1000 and the personalization to tutorial example. I run it. 
And there you go. You can see this now a little bit closer to the mood board, which had this funny, almost Pixar like feature. And when you click on view creations here, you can see the dogs that I've created with it. I don't need this mood board, it was just for the tutorial, so let me delete it. Click on the trash can and then simply confirm. And this is the new mood board feature, Image Journey. Try it out yourself. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.